Psalm 13. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul, in my sorrow, in my heart, all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord, my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death. And my enemy will say, I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. I can't believe the news today. Oh, I can't close my eyes and make it go away. How long, how long must we sing this song? How long, how long? Bono from U2. 3,000 years ago, 30 years ago, or even today, humanity continues to ask the same question. How long must we wait? The world is full of brokenness, pain, suffering, and all types of evils. Yet do we trust in the steadfast love of the Lord? Salvation belongs to the Lord, and it has been seen in his life, in his death, and in his resurrection through his Son, Jesus Christ. Paul reaffirms this in his letter to the Galatians in the first chapter, writing that it was Jesus Christ who gave him for our sins to deliver us from our present evil age. Maybe our question is wrong. If God has given his Son to deliver us from our present evil age, perhaps it is God asking us, how long? How long before we see the light of his work all around us? How long must he wait for us to join him in the restoration of a broken world? How long must he wait for us to receive the healing he desperately desires for our lives? Yes, how long?